Good morning, good morning everybody from the Canary Islands in Spain. It is the first of our four ports in Spain and I'm so excited to bring you guys along today because we have a fun excursion. If you're new here, this is my 21 day Africa cruise, but actually we ended Africa and now we're heading up into Spain before we disembark in Barcelona. Today we're in Tenerife, or as I've been told, maybe it is Tenerife, so Tenerife, Tenerife. I will find out the correct pronunciation once we get off with our tour guide. And today, instead of doing things around town, which I think we will still do after our excursion, we wanted to do something really cool and out of the box. So we're doing Mount Teed. I am so excited. Mount Teed is a volcano. It's actually, I believe, the third largest volcano in the world or volcanic area, I guess. And we're gonna take a cable car up there today. It's so hot in the sun, but chilly in the shade, and it's supposed to be cool on the top of Mount Teed. So we're gonna pack for layers today. But here is our beautiful view of the water. The other side of the ship has more of the city view. But we're here today. I'm excited to bring you guys along on this excursion. And if you're new here, make sure that you subscribe down below so you don't miss any more videos. And if you wanna stay a little bit more up to date with things that I'm doing, make sure you follow on all my other social medias. Let's go up and get some breakfast for the day and then we will get dressed in our layers and have a nice day in the Canary Islands. Finally had enough time this morning to do a sit down breakfast. We're actually sitting on the Cagney side today. We've got avocado toast and also sharing this vanilla French toast that looks so good. So glad we made it up to breakfast today. Honestly, I brought pretty limited options when it came to activities like this because I just wasn't thinking straight, I guess. But I have this workout set that's leggings and a sports bra. So this is going to be my base. I have this tank top that I actually wore the other day, but maybe it would be okay. It kind of goes with the army green. Otherwise, I've got my little white button up that I could button up over this. Then I've got two options for jackets. This cream colored velour one that I wore on the plane here, but got it washed. Or I have pink. And I was like, oh, the pink and the green? I mean, that could be fun, but... These are my outfit options and I will show you what I end up wearing currently. I'm just in this like skim stoop set from Amazon. This is what I wore to breakfast. It's like a little navy baby tee and these yoga pants, but this is just like not the material I want to wear today. So this was just kind of to go get some breakfast, but I will show you guys the outfit once I have it on because layer, layer, layer is important at different temperatures at different elevations. So start with the base layer. I probably will have a shirt and then a jacket. All right. And here's the outfit that I decided on. I am wearing this tank top again, but just to honestly have something to cover then this legging set. It is the Lululemon dupe off Amazon. It's amazing. It's like the flow Y bra and the little leggings. And of course I have my tennis shoes on. I chose these ones. I like my other ones better, but I'm wondering if they get dirty. So I chose these ones because they're really old. I've had these since like my sophomore year of college. If these ones get dirty and ruined, I don't mind. The other ones are pretty new. And then of course bringing my little canvas bag. I've got a pair of sweatpants in there for Austin, a sweatshirt for me. I'm also going to, I think, put on this little white cover up. I've got my belt bag in here with our passports and some camera bags batteries, a portable charger, got my Kindle in here, and we took two muffins from breakfast in case we get hungry because this is a six hour excursion. But this is the look, this is what I'm bringing, and now we're gonna head over to the Stardust Theater where we meet for our short excursion. Here's our bus, bus number 28, Mount Tede with cable car, and we're gonna get on the bus. That's absolutely stunning, so we're gonna have a great time. Okay, so welcome to Tenerife. My name is Olga, and I'm gonna be your guide. I don't know, it's that here at the viewpoint and look at this view. There's Mount Tide right there. There's the city and we are up quite a few thousand feet. My ears have been popping all the way up. It is gorgeous. I gotta tell you guys what ended up happening. So our meeting time was at 10 15. We have been going at the meeting time every single time we go on an excursion and we have sat there for at least, at least 20 to 30 minutes. One day it was almost 50 minutes. And so today we're like, okay, it's 10 15. Like we'll leave in a couple minutes, right? We get over there. It's 10 22, 10 23. And 
and then we go over I was like oh my gosh there's nobody there's nobody in the Stardust Theater it was kind of like um what do we do so we went down one deck we found one of the ladies from the short excursionist we're like we're so sorry we're a few minutes late the bus was still here but we were the last two people on the bus eight minutes late from the meeting time so I guess maybe everybody was there in advance so we were the last two people on the bus we're not even sitting together on the bus and I don't even have a window seat it's all okay though because at least we are here plus can't complain about the current view of Mount T day and then after the stop we're just continuing up our way it's actually a beautiful drive to get up there a super scenic mountain drive driving through all of these canary pines and different trees there actually was a fire here in august that burned so many of the trees but they're used to these hot fires burning so while the trees are black and they look dead they're actually not dead because they have adapted and changed over time which i think is really cool obviously a very unfortunate situation about the fire it just was due to really 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 high heat waves like 40 to 45 degrees celsius heat waves that caused the fire overall nothing important burned down which is really good and all of the trees are actually still alive even if they are are still charred so some fun facts that we're learning on our way up as we go and now we're just gonna get back on the bus and keep continuing on our way up to the volcano we have made it to the cable car base we just got our tickets we're getting ready to go up it goes all the way almost to the absolute top of Mount Tide and here we are we're getting ready to head inside and get on our cable car Cable car waiting platform. Here's the one that just left. We got this whole platform right here. Over. And it's windy and chilly up here, but we're gonna walk around a little bit and see what else we can see from this viewpoint. The site we've all been waiting for at Mount Tiede. This is as close as you can get with the cable car, and then you can take the footpaths around. We're actually on part of the footpath right now, and there's just a little bit of snow left over. But this is the view, and this volcano hasn't erupted in hundreds of years. Very cool. Just like that, we're down the volcano and back at the bottom. And now we're walking to meet up with our bus and our tour guide, and we're gonna get back on our way toward the port. Today was really just to go up to the volcano with the cable car. But of course, we've been getting amazing views and information along the way, so it makes it a totally scenic drive and just an overall great tour day. And we're gonna have time when we get back to the port to be able to go off and explore on our own, which was a big thing that I wanted to do. I wanted to pick an excursion that would allow us to do two different things. So that's our plan for the rest of the day and let's get on the bus. Pretty quick little hour and a half drive and we're back at the Norwegian Dawn honestly just to drop some stuff off and change and then we're gonna head into town. So right outside the ships there is this blue line that you can follow and it takes you all the way into the city center. I think that that's just such a fun thing from a cruise port especially coming from all the cruise ports we've been going to. It's very walkable. All right the blue line has brought us here and now we're getting ready to cross the bridge. This has actually been quite a pleasant walk and it is so much warmer than what we experienced on our excursion. Plus we've been passing all of these cute little sailboats and I was mistaken a little earlier because now we're at this bridge. 
that's gonna take us right in over here. And if you see this big statue up here, I hope I'm pointing to it correctly, it's so bright, I can't see. Uh, that marks the center of their little square. We are crossing the bridge. Looks so green over here. What a walkable cruise port. This is so nice. We're in the plaza and look at the cute area surrounding it. Look at all of these flowers growing on the side of this building. And over on this one, it looks like they're starting to grow them on this side. Oh my goodness, how awesome. And of course this is big monument from the war. Our tour guide told us to get the wrinkly potatoes and that it's a Canary Island special. So that's what we got and it comes with a few sauces. We had no idea what to expect to be honest, but it smells amazing. Update on the wrinkly potatoes. They were fabulous. These two sauces we really love. To be honest, they didn't come over and explain them to us. This one was a little bit spicier. This was like a sweet garlic and pepper and this one was just so fresh. Like a nice green herb sauce and 10 out of 10 recommend. Look at these tacos I ordered. They are Iberian pork, which I don't typically go for, but that's a pork of this region or at least of Spain. These smell and look amazing. One quick little taxi ride later and we are here at the Tenerife Auditorium. Inspired and designed kind of like a teeny tiny little version of the Sydney Opera House. It's right on the water as well. And I wanted to come over and see this because it is absolutely gorgeous. They have a cute little cafe around here. We can actually head inside. Oh my God. It's official. I need to come back and see an opera in here. How amazing is this architecture? They even have this super cool 3D model inside. You can see where all the staircases are, where like costumes are kept over here. Look. Oh my gosh, I wish we could just go in the main auditorium and see a show. Here's where we are right now under this arch. There's another little auditorium over here, and of course there is a back patio where we just were, but this is awesome. And then of course here is the front view of the building. She is beauty, she is grace. I really, really, really just love the architecture on this. I love this little swoop up top. This was definitely one of the things I wanted to see in Tenerife, especially on the extra time that we had, and I'm so glad we stopped by. I just wish that we had time to stay for a show because it would literally be a dream. So I guess that means maybe we'll have to come back so that I can see an opera in the Tenerife Auditorium. It's just gotta happen. Back on the ship 50 minutes before all aboard time and I actually just put back on the set that I have been wearing all day because I decided I'm just gonna get a little walk in on the treadmill. Nothing crazy, probably nothing as long as my normal workouts. But I didn't go to the gym today and I feel very sluggish. We had that late, late lunch. We're calling it early dinner and we'll probably get something, a bite to eat on the ship a little bit later just now and I just feel like so, ooh. so I thought what better way to just like walk it out a little bit and that's what I'm gonna do. Like I said, this is the Amazon Lululemon dupe but I'm just gonna head up to the fitness center and just get a quick little walk in just to feel like I can walk a mile or a mile and a half after eating all that food. And after sitting on the bus for like over three hours today, I'm just ready to move my body a little bit. Thought we'd have kind of the chance to do that in town and then things ended up working out the way they did when we found the place to eat. So that's okay. I'm going to head up to the gym though and get a little workout in. The goal was to get a workout in this morning, but I stayed up late trying to get a video up for you guys. It's been really difficult with the Wi-Fi, but if I leave a video overnight, it uploads way better. So I was putting some finishing touches on that video and then had to upload it overnight. So by the time I woke up this morning, mm -mm -mm, I was too tired. I said, I'm going to take the extra half an hour of sleep rather than working out. And that's what I did. So just feeling grateful that I'm able to move my body, even if it's later in the day. Just as I suspected, the gym is a ghost town. And this has become my favorite treadmill. So here is where I'm setting up shop. And let me show you this view. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This one is a little dirty, but you can see from here. I'm so glad that I did that. I'm feeling so good. Just like 20 minutes on the treadmill and a little bit of stretching and I feel amazing. I'm so glad. I like just needed those endorphins, needed the sweat. And now it's time for a full, full, full shower. Like hair, everything. So gross. And everything shower just felt absolutely amazing. I mean, I didn't take my makeup off because I'm still gonna put on a cute dress for the evening activities washed my hair, washed my body, everything. Oh, 
feels so so nice I'm just gonna hang out for a little bit in this cute little Norwegian robe and my hair up in a towel until I get ready for this evening's activities I almost just said until I get ready for dinner but I am so stuffed so until the evening's activities we are leaving port and one of my favorite parts is waving to all the other passengers on this ship that are waiting back that we're passing right now look at them do you see these people waving Hi. goodbye Honestly, you guys, from everything that I've eaten today, I've been feeling so bloated, kind of like what I said when I was working out at the gym. I don't even feel confident in any of my dresses tonight, so the look is a sweatshirt and sweat shorts, and that's just how it's gonna be tonight. I also got a little caught up with work and emails and everything. It was 8.50 and I did not have my hair dried and I did not have an outfit picked out, let alone then I tried them on and <laughs> decided that that was just not the route. So not doing the Broadway cabaret tonight, which does make me a little sad, but Austin and I are going to head up and play some Uno upstairs and just kind of sit and hang out at Oshihan's, which is the little 24 hour pub that's up there on the deck. I'm like, I just want a little sweet treat. Like I know I'm so bloated. And I know I've had so many like little bread things today, but a chocolate cake, a little chocolate something sounds so good. So we're gonna go see what Oshag Hennessy's, that's what Austin calls it, what Oshihan's has, and play some card games. Oshihan's. Oh, Table number one, we love this little booth over here. Here's the menu. This is pretty much the menu all day, all the time. Ugh, see, none of this just sounds good right now, so I don't know. I have to resort to something on this side. <laughs> Oh, she hands honestly took forever. I don't know what was going on tonight, but we played, you know, we ended up going into a draw because we played for 30 minutes and nobody was winning. It's just kind of hard with two people and you keep getting the draw four and the plus two and everything. Austin got a sandwich and I stole a little bit of his apple pie and now we're back in the room getting ready to go to bed. It just feels like it's been a really long day. It's 1040. Both of us didn't really sleep well last night and we got to be up ready to go and in the theater like having eaten all of that by 8 30 a.m in the morning so i'm gonna go take off my makeup contacts brush my teeth do all of that and go to bed but i'm gonna end the vlog here i hope that you guys enjoyed this first canary island vlog tomorrow what we're doing in the canary islands i cannot vlog because we're doing a sea trek underwater adventure i don't really know how that works but i do not have my gopro with me and i do not have a little waterproof phone case so no vlog for the second part of canary islands maybe check out my other social medias to see what i'm able to do over there but for now i I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully I'll have some good content for another Spain vlog before we get off the ship and head back to the US. I love you guys so much. If nobody has told you today, I am so proud of you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.